Hello, in today's video, we are going to see how we can plot a graph in origin and we can do its formatting to, like, uh, to make it look good and nice uh, for publishing it in the international journals or also for our thesis and presentation. So today what we have is the data of the cyclic voltammetry, which is a technique where we have a data of the voltage and current for any sample. So here we have four columns and I have the data of two samples. The first sample is this one where we have on the x-axis the voltage is changing and on the, on the y-axis I have the current of the samples and I have written it pH 9 because the sample was prepared at pH 9. And then we have another sample similarly it has the voltage changing with the current. Now, first, uh, after transferring the data to the origin, the first thing is that we need to select all these columns and, of course, do not forget to label the x and y axis. That is, it should be set as the x axis and this one should be set as the y axis. And similarly, for the second data, this one should be set as the x axis and this one should be set as the y axis. Now you select all this data and because I want to draw a simple plane graph today, I will simply click this plane line at the bottom and here we get a graph. Now the first thing I start to format is this legend which labels the two uh, data samples. Uh, this one, the red one and the black one. So I just double click it here. I write it down as pH 9. And here I write it as pH 10. Sorry. pH 9. This one will be pH 9 sample. Oh, I think I need to remake it. So here I have this one pH 9. And this one as pH 10. Also, I like it to be in the horizontal position. So I go to the properties and I put it like this so that they are in the horizontal position. So now I can also increase its size by zooming it. So the next thing is that I need to label the x and the y axis. The x axis is the voltage and I usually mention the units in the term in the brackets. Usually the units I mention in the form of brackets. And here I have the intensity of the current. So I would also write down the units of the current which is in my case is milliampere per second. So these are also written in the in this form. Now also I need to increase the size of these labels as they are not very legible especially when you are going to publish your data online. So I usually make it like 36 and this one also the same. It should be same and it is 36 also. Now the third step is that I need to format this y and the x axis. As you can see this is not legible and there are too many points or ticks on the y axis. So I double click it. First of all, I need to increase the size. Again, I use the 36 number. And here you see there are certain options. You need to click on the scale. And here you see that there are there's an option of major ticks. So if you click it, you see it is 11 right now, which, which means that there are 11 ticks on the y-axis, which are too much. So what I want, I just want it to be 6 and I apply it and it is like this which looks quite good also for the horizontal axis that is the x axis I want to do the same so I will put it as 6 and I want to increase the size of the labels so I will put it 6 and it is okay so now after doing this I want to also increase or increase the width of these lines so for this, I need to right click on the data, go to the plot details and here you click on the line and you see the width which is 0.5 by default. You can increase it to maybe 4. 
apply it and now it looks quite good also here you can see there is some extra space maybe we can uh, change the scale and for this you need to click on this plus zoom button and you just need to encircle your data like this and here you see now the space is a little bit and lesser and it gives a better look for the graph also you know to uh, give more aesthetic look to my graph i also go to the view and i also go to the uh this one here we have the show option and you can have different option where i usually select the option of frame so that we have a nice frame in the graph and here it is now your graph is ready for your presentation or for your uh, paper publication thank you